We about to get popping up in here, boy. Today's menu item, homemade spaghetti and meatballs. Let's get crack a lacking. So what we got here is a small yellow onion, a green bell pepper, four cloves of garlic, and two sticks of celery. So you just take your magic spatula here and pour just like that. All right, now in our hot pot over here, we are going to add half a cup of olive oil. And we throw down these vegetables. Paya! There it is again. All right, now you get stirring, move that stuff around. We gotta get our vegetables real soft. Boy, let me tell you, I don't know how often some of y'all cook, but just this little concoction right here smells divine. All right, these vegetables are looking pretty soft. However, we will cook them a little longer. At this time, though, we will add one 12 ounce can of tomato paste. Uh, you're gonna need a spoon to get that out. Okay, just stir that up real good and get it all mixed in. All right, so we're gonna let this cook down probably for another five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna start adding all our tomatoes. Okay, so what we have here, three cans of diced tomatoes, roughly around 14 and a half ounces. Throw those in there. And just mix that in real good. Next, we add two 10 ounce cans of mild Rotel tomato. I go with the mild because I got some tiny mouths to feed over here and as they say it's spicy, Phew. gotta cook something else. So now that that is in there, we are going to add three 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. All right, stir that up real good and now it's time to season this bad boy up. First, you add one fourth cup of sugar. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, that's gonna make it sweet. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. That sugar is put in there to reduce the acidity of your tomato sauce. Now you add one tablespoon of parsley flakes, one teaspoon of basil, three bay leaves, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and a little dash of crushed red pepper flakes. Plenty. Stir that up good. All right, lastly, we're gonna add a cup of water. Stir it up. And cover it. We're gonna let this thing simmer for a good two hours. Okay, so at this time, you wanna preheat your oven at 375. All right, now we're getting started on these meatballs. We're gonna start off with these two slices of bread, gonna moisten them up in some water, tear them apart, and throw them in this two pounds of ground chuck. Next, you throw in a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs, Italian style. Three fourths cup grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, next I got these three eggs. I'm gonna scramble those up a little bit. Throw them in here. All right, there we go. Now, teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, teaspoon of basil, and a teaspoon of oregano. All right, now the fun part. You gotta get your hands up in that mixture. I know you don't want to do it because you don't want to touch all that egg. But look, it's fun. Get it mixed real good. All right, now that we got that mixed up real good, we're going to make some meatballs. All right, so me personally, I like to make my meatballs probably a little bigger than a golf ball. What I do from here is I take the meatball and put them on this tray, which has been coated with olive oil. Okay, so now we got our meatballs rolled up. Gonna put those in the oven, let them cook for about 25, 30 minutes or until they're nice and brown. Oh yeah, so just a little friendly reminder. It's safe to go ahead and stir this every so often during that two hour process. 
Oh, that sure is looking good right there. I tell you what. And just cover it back up. Let's take a look. Cool. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Perfect. So now that our meatballs are done, we uncover this pot here. And you want to stir this up first real good. There we go. All right, so see, this marinara is now done. Now, if you're not doing a traditional spaghetti and meatballs, you can just cook marinara like this and then stock it away in the freezer. You just store away whatever serving size is needed for you and your family, and you have fresh marinara every time you want to make spaghetti, lasagna, whatever. All right, so first and foremost, before you add these meatballs, you want to get all these bay leaves out of here. Trust me, I almost died from one of these things. All right, all bay leaves have been removed. So at this point, if you like your uh, sauce chunky with tomatoes, leave it as is. Me, I like to take my spatula and mush it along the sides, get some of these tomatoes smashed up a little bit. Here we go. So what we're doing now is we're uh, getting these meatballs up with a spatula. They might stick a little bit, but should be easy to get them up. So you want to get a couple at a time here and just uh, slowly add them in to your marinara. All right, so now we stir those in real good, nice and gently. And look, we're going to go ahead and let this simmer for another 30 minutes. Some people like to go uh, maybe an hour, but as long as you go at least 30 minutes, you should be all right. While that is simmering, you can go ahead and get some water boiling because you're going to need some pasta. So that's what we're doing right now. By the time 30 minutes is up, this will all be done. Furthermore, I've re-preheated the oven because I am also cooking some garlic bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, look at here. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Mm-mm, mm, c'est bon. Well, that's a wrap, y'all. We done did that again. Homemade marinara with meatball and spaghetti. Y'all know what we do next. We knock it out from here. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Stay tuned for more. Payah!